Five. We've got f- lots of dead ants, by the way. Just telling you. Every week. Mm. Every week. You wait until I say five, and then you start talking. Sorry. <laughs> Every week. You've conditioned her. You have to start with a different number. Start with six or something. The B-side word. E. D. C. B. A. Welcome back to the B-side word podcast. I am Devin, and I'm here with Emma. Well, hi. CJ. Hello. And Alexander. Oh, hi. Um, I had a uh, epiphany mm. that I don't like doing manliness. <laughs> I was gonna say, go to the doctors; they might give you antibiotics for it. <laughs> I knew this. I already. don't like doing manliness, and uh, I realize when I and I really don't care when my I got a puncture in my tire. And most men will fix the tire themselves. Yes. Will they? I rang. Yes. Road road breakdown services. No. Who did road you assistance. Ring? Wait, wait, wait. No. When you I say rang. fix the tire, do you mean change the tire? Change or the fix tire. Change the puncture? it. No. Oh, fix okay. The change right. the tire. <laughs> change the tire. I rang Emma to ring roadside assistance. And I remember, if I recall, you were getting quite frazzled about it. No, because I had work. Yes. I had work, so I had to get to work. And uh, I was like, I could fix this. I took the tire out. I took the jack out. I took the tool to wind up the jack. And I looked at it and I said, nah, I don't like manliness. Nope, <laughs> not for me. Call someone. Get someone here and fix this tire. Is it because you didn't quite know how to do it exactly? No, no. I knew exactly how to do it. I knew exactly what to do. I had it in my head. I was like, yep. Have I don't you like done it. it? Yes. When? Okay. Yeah. On the on the old on the old shit box. No, no, it wasn't a shitbox, it was the Unos. No, I didn't do Can it. Can I no. just see? Because this that, is something that we all should learn, but I just want to... I've never done it, by the way, but I think I know how to do it. This is how I think you should do it. Mm. So you get your spare tire. Yeah. Let's hope you have one. Mm. By the way, I don't think we have one because I'm sure you've used ours in the past. No, we replaced it. Anyways, yeah. Oh. And then you get the jack thing. And then you go to the front or the back maybe if it's at the back i don't yeah. know and then you have to place the jack where there's a the solid panel under the steel plate right mm. that plate and then so you do that and then is it a wind do you wind it yes so you wind the jack until yeah, you wind it up until it hits the plate and you keep going until yeah. it lifts up you know just enough so that you can whatever and then you're gonna have to take off the bolts or is it the nuts? The nuts. So then <laughs> lefty, loosey, righty, tighty. Yes. So you lefty, loosey, you take off your four bolts. Yep. Nuts. <laughs> and then, uh, I think there's more. Yeah. And then you, uh, so you take them off. Don't lose them down the drain. And then take off your tire. Yeah. <laughs> and then um, put your new one on and then righty, tighty, the nuts back on. Yep. Wind how, the... how do you put, wait, wait, wait. There's, there's a way you should put them on though. And it's quite important. Like there's a there's a method. Well, is it? Does it have like one of those washers? Let me. Does I'll, I'll say it another way. There's an order. Oh, is there oh, an order? Oh, I have no idea about the is order. It, is it? Oh, you have to do is opposites. There an order? You do opposites. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. oh. So you shouldn't you should go just, around in a circle. I just got. I, I, I just go around in a circle. Yeah, and so I do I. Them up. I just go around in a circle. I don't know how yeah, I knew that, but I knew that. You shouldn't do You do, do opposites. That. When tightening anything, you shouldn't do that. Oh. Hold on. Uh, Annie, you don't go around in a circle. You call for guys. Yeah. So so when the guy <laughs> came... Did I do it? Yeah. So when the guy came, right, and um, I had the spare tire out and he's changing it and he had this uh, this uh, hydraulic pump. So the, the car sort of jumped. Because he had this, anyways, and he's changing the tire and that, and then he goes, "Oh, the the spare tire's flat," and I go, "Yeah, yeah, that's why I called you, because the tire's flat. I wanted you to fill it up with air, because like I didn't want to uh, <laughs> plate it off." Like he goes, and usually I do this myself, but uh, <laughs> not today, not today. 
the most yeah. the most awkward tire change I had to do was on top of a mountain when we we're in Iceland during winter when there was about three foot of snow on the ground. Oh, that's that kind was a, of that was a fun crazy. one. Yeah, um, people driving by. But- did anyone Sorry. stop and help? Would you stop and help if you saw somebody? No. If if they're doing it, no. What's the point? They know what they're doing. Would you? Now but would, wouldn't you slow down and go? No you, you good there? You, do you need a hand? Are you good? No. Hmm? If they were stood there no. like this, then maybe I'd stop. <laughs> <laughs> now I can't see Alexander. So what is he He's doing? He's doing this. He was going. Hmm? Mm-hmm. Okay, now he, I'll amend my question. What if it was a woman? Would you say, are you right? Do you need some help? What does no. she look like? No. What does she look no, like? No, I, I still would. Again. I, I, I would still not stop. <laughs> if they're doing it, yeah. no. Because I, I think about it the same way if it was me. Like, if I'm doing it and someone goes, do you need any help? I'd be like, are you blind? No, I'm doing it. Like, That's if I needed awful. help, I wouldn't be doing it. I would it. be very appreciative, even if I didn't need the help. Just the fact that someone stopped to say, are you okay? You, are you are you good basically i'd be like oh thank you so much no i've got it i thank have you. i have um pulled over to help someone push the car off a main road oh i was gonna i was thinking yeah, did you push it off i say if it's thunder thighs mate Cliff thunder thighs something. no i've no. been pushing it with my thunder thighs that's what i pushed it with <laughs> <laughs> so he he came back ah. with an insurance job he said you crushed my car oh. i said sorry mate i pushed it too hard that's what I said. Thing, thing, I, I I just lean on it and it moves. <laughs> thing, but this is so. This is where the manly thing. What I'm intrigued to know because I I appreciate what you're saying in terms of there are extents to what I'll do. But when it comes to cars, like when I was in America, I bought uh, a '96 Golf, and the thing that I really enjoyed about that is the older the car, the more space there is under the hood for you to go and do things mechanically. Yeah. Whereas now newer cars, they're like super compact the way they do it. So you kind of have to go yeah. to a shop. But I enjoyed that car. I learned how to like change my oil. I did spark plugs. I like, I did different things to it. And that was enjoyment to me because it was, I did that with my own hands. And like mm. when you You're do it and then the car new. runs better than it ran before, it's like, oh, oh, I did that. That's so fun. Yeah. Do you not get that? Nah. <laughs> what else is being? What else is included in manliness? Nah, there is, there is not. There is no enjoyment, enjoyment whatsoever from that at all. <laughs> yeah, I do, Dev, you don't like cars in general because, like, even when you bought you, your brand new Corolla Sportivo, you like, you know how you see men on a, on their weekend. That's their time. They go out and they look yeah. after their their new baby and they wash it and they yeah. You, you, I don't, I've never seen you wash a car. I, I got that Sportivo. <laughs> I got that Sportivo, right? And I was like, this is the car. This is my car. Like, and I knew after I bought that, that I'm never ever buying an expensive car ever again. I will never ever buy an expensive car because I treat it like a tool. I treat it like one of my tools in my toolbox. I pick it up. I, I, I use it. Thrash I it, smash well. it. My shifter is a hammer. And uh, a thing that tightens things up, and that's the same thing that I use my um, car as. I will get into it, and I'll put, I will put grass. I will put like sheets, whatever I need to put. I'll put like a uh, um, furniture in there. It would be a moving, a move, a uh, furniture yeah. moving uh, vehicle. It will be a people mover. It will be. It's. It's. I'm not one of those guys that will polish, <laughs> polish the spokes on the wheels i've never seen you wash a car in, in the 614 however long we've been together for me i don't understand what for <laughs> i don't polish my shifter why would i polish my sh- my car but yeah i'm just saying like because you see those that's i i could say that's a manliness thing because that's you see the men d- polishing up their nice cars and they're like oh, that's nice you know see that's nice interesting because i don't consider that a manly thing yeah. I consider I consider taking care of your car in terms of like polishing it and stuff more of a feminine thing. It's just the manly feminine thing to do. <laughs> oh, oh, we're, we're manly. A scale, well, that's what and we're that's manly. On the feminine we're grubs. Side of the manliness. <laughs> yeah, because it's 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 the same to me as like a guy who spends a lot of time grooming themselves. Because the people who typically will do that don't necessarily know anything about car. Like they can't. Like they're just taking care of how it looks, so it looks good for people. Okay, I hear you. Do you get what I, I mean? Hear you. 
yeah yeah because mm. this is mm. this is what I, this is what i was finding interesting how you were using that as a comparison dev because i don't care about doing any of that stuff either but i also treat like i treat my car like a car like a tool like you said but i also still want a nice car like they're not different to me they're, they they can be the same i don't just because a, a car will, a nice car will last longer it will oh he wants oh, he wants a nice yeah. car in like, that i in- want a i want a reliable car I want a yep. car that will like put up with my shit. I want a car that can handle who I am as a person. But he's not going to worry about keeping it nice. And yeah, but you got to make sure the s- car can keep up with me because I will. <laughs> you want a cyber pr- truck? Yeah, I'm going. I'm going to put it through some shit. So, <laughs> uh, like before I buy the car, I tap it on the hood. You're going to have a hard life. <laughs> You're going to have a hard life and you're not going to be taken care of. <laughs> <laughs> what else do you consider, Dev? Manliness. Mm. Um, uh, can I, I ask survival skills? Oof. Is that Oof. manliness? Oh. That's manliness. That's manliness. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like nature. I don't like any of that right. shit. You guys, I this is actually something that I wanted to bring to the table tonight. I'm going to send you a link. I have to find it first. Now, I, wa- I walked into the living room and my kids were enthralled, uh, very engaged in the TV. Mm. <laughs> That's what you're watching. And they're like, look to me like, you don't know? And I'm like, no. And the channel is called Survival Builder. Yeah. And they were like, watch it, mum. It's so good. We've watched all of them. Oh my gosh. So I've sent you what it looks like. Maybe we can share the screen. Yeah, I'll share the screen. We'll share the screen. And it, look, the, it goes for 10 minutes. So we won't watch the whole thing. We can skip through to some parts. But just have a look. Just have a look. Oh, these two. So you knew who they were too. Can you these see the screen? These two are like, I'm pretty no, sure these two are, are millionaires or something. Probably now. I can see picture now. Ready? Okay, let's go. Let's watch. Yep. <coughs> so they start from literally just literally a uh, forest ground. They, the tools they use, they build. Um, they typically just use one tool and a bucket, which they've made for this entire thing so if if i did this i'll be missing a toe (laughs) and they don't even use a spade so every all the dust that they dig up they use their hands and a little bucket to just help get rid of it yeah hey ernie we should do we should do this you get a nice no way How are they going to get out? Oh, watch. You watch. I like how they draw a door together at the same time. Yeah. Right, how many times have you done this to be able to... They just do the outline of things that they want to... Um... So I've seen these guys. I've, I've, I've been seeing them for years, to be honest. They always go viral for these things yeah. they do. And I've seen, I've seen them do like a little mini pyramid in the ground with a moat around it and then they go like swimming in the moat and stuff they like like doing like swimming pool things they do all sorts it's unbelievable they do like temples underground and they do like big like yes swimming type things the one i saw the other day they dug down really deep as well and then the other guy just stood on the other guy's shoulders and he lifted him up and out and then he was stuck down there but whilst he was down there he kept working and then the first guy built stairs from the top down how come why why uh, did you watch this all the whole way through yes not this one a different one yeah but what made you intrigued to watch this guy to watch it um, all the because way because they're so intricate as well they do all these designs and they make like these vases cut out of the wood uh, cut out of the ground um and all these like like he made these little lantern holders yeah and it was beautifully done so would you watch someone um build a house if they just never stopped i like, think is this that is something... so impressive because they're using one tool 
they don't have like all these tools. They're literally just using like this one tool to and, do it. Yeah. And they just go in, they just go in straight for what they're doing. They outline it, what they're doing and they go straight in and then they use different types of, so he, he cracked this termite mound yeah. and he used that, um, that type of soil or whatever it is. Yeah. He grinds it up, he mix it with water and that becomes a waterproof material for his, right, if right, he's right. creating a pool I'm just, yeah. and all this type of stuff or uses it for color to paint. Do you, do you know what this is making me think when I'm watching yeah. this? Is I wonder how many times archaeologists have found something and gone, oh, this was built like 6,000 years ago. And like there's a guy stood in the background going, I built that last week, mate. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was actually these two blokes saying that. Because <laughs> this, that this so looks funny. like if you found this, if you were walking in the forest and you found this, you'd be like, I wonder how old this is. Yes, <laughs> you would. Cause uh, so, how did they build the pyramids? Well, that's a that's a like still this. an ongoing. No, not not the old, not the people that built the pyramids. I'm you talking about these, these guys. These oh. How did these guys build the pyramids? I'm not talking about they, the Egyptians that built the pyramids. I didn't watch that one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't they, know how I they. Think, <laughs> it's been a long time since I watched it. I think they built like their own bricks. See how got like out? they make their own bricks. Because um, it's not like Eddie a giant Griffin. pyramid either. It's just like enough for one of them to fit inside. Yeah, yeah. Because there was um. So he's probably Eddie, making stairs now. Eddie Griffin, right? And I think I said this on the podcast. Like they said, you know, some people say they um, built from the bottom up. His theory is that they built from the top down. Yeah, you said that. That'll be interesting. Who's the person what, what? filming them as well? Yeah. That guy's making all the money. Yeah. He goes, hey guys, hey guys, just build this, uh, <laughs> build this uh, thing over here. I'll film you. Yeah, I'll give you a couple of dollars. I'll give you. A couple. I'll just put it on this uh, thing called. Uh, I put it on the line, on this thing called tube for you. <laughs> <laughs> They're probably making like a hundred yeah. bucks a building. They're like, oh, this is fantastic. We get, yes, we get guys like a millionaire. We get coke. Talk, talking of that with YouTube, it came out this week. This completely shocked me. The mm. This was talking about America. TikTok now has more viewership than YouTube. Yeah. Wow. Which blew my mind because you mean? YouTube has an insane amount of content and insane amount of viewers and watch time. <laughs> Hold on, I've never watched TikTok. I've never. I have watched YouTube. I've before. I've. I to say I've never watched a TikTok would be a lie because I've created them for our podcast. But in total of other people's, I've probably watched roughly ten seconds. Uh, of TikTok. Actually, on TikTok. The yeah, I put it on silent. Yeah, I don't. But we don't do any stupid dances. Well, no, this no, is what I don't that. understand. I don't understand everything's on TikTok. Uh, but I don't. Yeah. I don't want I th to. I think it's. It. Yeah, I think you gotta put your content on there if you. We watched one that yeah. had eight hundred thousand views. This other one has ninety-two and a half million views. Build the most temple swimming pools underground. Oh, that's the one that goes on Facebook and everything. That's oh, really? the one, yeah. But it's, it blew my mind because not only did it overtake viewership in America, but then I found out that it overtook viewership in the UK like last year. Yeah. Because they've gone up to three minute videos now. So it's like, it's a good size clip that you can, that people can stay on there now. And well, that people what, can get their ideas across. I think more. the thing that makes it two things that make it more interesting is one youtube's for a long time been a monopoly of video space and mm. sort of your idea of monopolies are the bigger they get the harder it is for them to be toppled so mm. that's quite interesting but the other thing is for the longest time people shit on vertical videos and youtube what, what's that has quite religiously been a horizontal video platform even yeah, you can do vertical video. It's still not the best, but now TikTok being the opposite, being a specifically horiz uh, vertical video platform, being the way that people consume their content the most. Well, I don't. What's vertical videos? Up and down. So this way, like this, portrait versus landscape. That's horizontal. And this is. Oh, the... you mean literally how it looks? Yeah. Oh. Because the thing with vertical video is you get way less context of what's going on. Yeah. Because you're just focusing on the person. 
Whereas yeah. ver- uh, horizontal video, you get all the context, you get this, their surroundings and everything. Yeah. So it's more like, imagine watching a film, but everything was vertical video. Like you wouldn't know what was going on. You would just see people. True story. Oh, so interesting. I forgot about TikTok. I annoying. went on it for about two weeks. I was watching the alien, I've ne- I've the guy that saw the alien on the beach. But even Instagram now, I dwell on me. The, uh, Instagram now is focusing on video as well now. I haven't been on that either. I've never been on Instagram either. For a couple so, weeks. So, yeah. It's an interesting think, time. Isn't, isn't so, do they, is it the same slowly. as TikTok? Uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But TikTok, uh, but Instagram's um got like, uh, like a, a lot of news things are on Instagram now. Like normal channels. Like I found I found out um COVID stuff. Yeah. On, on Instagram now. It's like, it's different. I wonder what the next big thing is, what the young ones are using. Is it still TikTok? Because oh, it's, it's going to yeah. move away. They're going to move. They always move away, don't they? They find the next thing. I think it's then... I think it's getting, it's saturated now. It's like everyone's on. Because that's the thing. And the young ones don't want to be where their grandparents are on or whatever. Nah, nah. So then they're like, well, I'm not like that. But then cool you see anymore. you see all the people that were on Instagram and YouTube and they're on they're on TikTok now. It's like grandpa. I didn't want to like you stay on. The yeah, that's U- what I'm saying. You stay on YouTube and you stay on <laughs> Facebook. This is the, for the young people. And then and you it's see, like, oh. you see him on there. You see him <laughs> on there doing the same content, rehashing their content that's on YouTube and Facebook and Instagram on TikTok. Next one to be click clack. <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> click clack. <laughs> yeah. So did you? Hear, oh, did you hear? Um, uh, Zuckerberg, he got that uh, Ray Ban. He put like that. Oh, the you know, uh, fa- Facebook and Ray Ban, yeah, the yeah. Gla- the video camera. Ray Ban stories, yeah. What? They had Google, like Google Glasses, had it as well, but that didn't. And now it's like, so you know how sometimes, um, when you're you're in the moment, like you're celebrating, and like let's say it's a birthday, and then you get your phone out. And it's like, oh, you know, oh, you got your phone out, but you're looking through the phone while experiencing it. This way, you got your glasses on and it's filming, but you're actually experiencing the moment. Oh. You're so not actually looking behind the, the screen. You're, you're looking. That's kind of cool. So you can press record when you want on the glasses. Yeah. So this is now, yeah. can you use that with reading, reading glasses? Yeah, it's on what? reading glasses. The, yeah. The, that's actually, uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So this is a thing, right? Is they've put, so I've, from the picture I've seen, it's in like the corner of. Yeah. Of the glass frame, and there's a light that will come on when they're recording, so you know. Yeah. Um, but to me, it's a lot more creepy because, <laughs> like, if someone's, if you're in a crowd, for example, and someone's pulled a phone out and they're like recording, you can tell that someone's recording, so you can act accordingly and do yeah. like if you want to get away, you get away. But with this, like, and you're probably not going to spot this little light that's on. So people could just be recording you without you knowing at any point. Yeah, yeah. Or they can hack it and figure out how to not turn on the light. Imagine, imagine a vlogger That's now. Weird. They've got like the lapel mic, and they're like, "Oh, could you just say that again?" And they're like looking at you weird, <laughs> trying to get the camera angle, and they're trying to put their ch- like their chest in their v- like. I'll oh, say that again. Say what? What was that? You you think I'm good looking? Like you know what I mean? It's just gonna be. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, why you just made. I don't know. You just made me think because you know. It it got weird when microphones in headphones first became a thing because you'd see people walking around talking to themselves. You know what are they doing? But now we yeah. all know people are just on the phone, like you know yeah. they've got headphones on on the phone. But now with this, it's just going to be glasses. And as you yeah. said, like if like vloggers literally can wear glasses and a lapel mic, and that's it. And if you don't see the mic, they'll be walking around talking, like narrating a day. You're like that person's psycho. What yeah. is wrong? <laughs> Yeah. No headphones in. Nothing like that. <laughs> Nothing. You just got these Google glasses or Ray Ban glasses, and then just like, oh yeah, this is my favorite restaurant. The glasses will probably have a mic in it next. I think it does already. Oh, but it's just okay. shit. Anyways, and if he's like, he gets the yamcha, he's like, oh, we have yamcha today. And it's just him at the table. Just him at this table. <laughs> how how long before we're in that Black Mirror episode with the gla- with the contacts? Because I think they're already developing those, aren't they? Oh, are they? The contacts that are Where like it records a everything. And oh man! It records record. everything. Whoa! 
what are people doing? Why do people want to record everything? Um, they want to like blame people. I reckon it's a well, blaming a big, society at the moment. A big part of that black Black Mirror one was the memory side of it, wasn't it? Yeah. Like, because you're recording. Oh, it, like you minor, minority report. And... Oh, you can go back and renew like something that you wanted to watch or something. Yeah. Well, you can. Yeah, you can just live it straight away. Like, <sighs> mm, play. Yeah, that's why people are weird. Always want to record shit. Enjoy your lives. Go outside. Look at nature. They are, they're but they just want it. to record it. They want to rem- look back at it. Why go back again? <laughs> I'm just telling you not to go again. When your children are grown up, you can't go back in time. You can't can go you? back in time. You know what though? I'm going to be honest. Memories are way better than videos. Because it yeah. always you make it better than it was or something. Yeah. Because you don't really remember what to, happens. You, you embellish in your mind. So 100%. the memory is always yeah, better. To, yeah. You get to edit it in your brain, you know? Mm-hmm. Instead, you're going to have like the real memory of like the kids crying the whole way up there, <laughs> right? One of them having the shits about being in the bush, right? But in your mind, if you don't record it, it'll be like, it was one of the greatest <laughs> days we've ever had. And the kids will probably remember it as a fantastic day. You get to edit the shit parts. This is where I think photos trump video. Because photos can trick... Like, how many times have you been with a group of people where you've got a photo from, like, back in the day or something, and you look at it, and you're like, oh, yeah, and then, like, you go and you ha- you have the con- you tell the story and there's a conversation. But with a video, that eliminates all of that. Because it just becomes, oh, here's what happened. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've got no... I've seen it. I've yeah. got no questions. There's nothing... That, we don't need that to- makes... It <laughs> doesn't matter if there's video, <laughs> Alexander. I, I've, I got friends that there's video evidence and they go, that didn't happen. <laughs> That didn't happen. I'm like, I could, I'm showing you right it did, to your face. It, did, it, did, it, did, it didn't happen, mate. Just stop arguing about That's it. That's what I'm saying. It's literally, I'm like, and then they'll be like, they'll get the phone and erase it. They'll go, it never happened. <laughs> it never happened. <laughs> Look, it's gone now. Speaking of parties, I watched a movie that had a bit of a party in it. One that CJ recommended last week. Well, what movie was it? Knives Out. Oh, did you like it? I did. The one that you asked we all going to watch. Oh. I don't even remember it. What's that? We didn't end up watching it. Don't even remember. We watched it last night. It was good. It was really good. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. Oh. Who's in it? Um, Daniel Craig, Chris Evans, um, whatever her name is. The old oh, let's woman. watch it tonight. Let's watch it's it good. tonight. Um, it's a couple of hours. Um, yeah, and we'll so talk sure about it next time. week. Yeah. I'll watch it if you watch Only Murders in the Building. Nope. So I, nope. talking of movies, I wanted to bring this to the table because yes. it's it's quite funny. Um, mm-hmm. Shang-Chi. Yes. Went and watched it last Saturday. Like I haven't I, seen it yet. Don't worry, I'm not going to spoil it. I haven't seen it yet. I'm not going to spoil it. Um, went and watched it last week, like I promised. That's right. And... Like you guys know, I haven't watched a lot of Marvel films, watched a handful of them. Um, yeah. I've seen a lot of people talking very highly of this film. And mm. I've seen, I've, I've even seen people say like top three Marvel and all this. And these people who watch Marvel. So I'm like, oh, okay. Great film. Absolutely great film. It's oh. so good. Go and watch oh, it. Oh. Really, really oh, happy with it. I thought he was going to um, say it was a shit, shit, <laughs> shit movie. Me, no, it is. Me too. I wish I could go watch it, but I can't. It is... Cinemas are closed. I think it's going to come out after a month on Disney+. Plus. But yeah, I yeah. recommend watching it in the cinema. We watched it in IMAX. So I've never been in a cinema that loud before. But the, yeah, the yeah. film... The thing is with the film is... Remember we talked about like its origins. It was written originally based on Bruce Lee where the son was going to play. Like, I feel like in this film they've kept to that idea ideology in terms of some of the fights and stuff yeah like, it's a blend of superhero and kung fu it's awesome right yeah like, wow oh cool it's so good um but more notably Uh-oh. i've just sent something in the group something that's been hilarious since this film came out is simu liu yes the uh, <laughs> yes, the I've seen these. I've seen these <laughs> since 
<laughs> so he has been in other things. What this has been by far the biggest role he's ever had. Yeah. And people are now discovering who he is. Yeah. So in part of that discovery, some some pictures of him have resurfaced. And these are Just all from his early, his early days of acting. He did these stock photos. So someone's <laughs> compiled on Twitter a thread of every stock photo they could find of him. <laughs> that is I can't, so I'm trying funny. to bring him up now. Oh, hang on. He's, uh, uh, do, you want me to, do you want me to show you on the, on the camera, Siege? Oh, God. He's got it. He looks like he's the guy running an IT organization. Yes. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so you know this what's is, gonna get a lot of I just sent you his tweet convenience. about this. Look at this. Look at him. <laughs> Cause he just looks like a normal dude. He is a normal dude. So I'm just a superhero. When now. I saw this, what I was thinking oh. was the ever like I imagine most people who do stock photos don't remember all the stock photos they're in. You know what I mean? Like they probably do loads like he's done. <laughs> he responded. And I wonder how yeah. many people are in these photos, they've resurfaced and they've gone, oh, I forgot I was in that. Oh my yeah. God, that's him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, the showing their kids. Oh, look, I, was, I was in pictures with Shang-Chi. <laughs> so, so, Russell Crowe. Yes. Russell Crowe. Yeah. Name some movies that he's been in. Braveheart. Gladiator. Gladiator. Wrong, wrong person. <laughs> Who did, what did Emma say? Braveheart. Braveheart. That's, that's Mel Gibson. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I was thinking, was he, was he in Braveheart? Another, <laughs> another one. You oh. have no idea what Russell Crowe looks like. <laughs> I do. Did, did, ha, have you ever seen Russell Crowe? Of course. Crow? He's the owner of Sydney Ravitos. Yeah. He's not that's a how you know That's him. Gerard Butler. <laughs> that is... N okay. This is a, I can't believe what I'm hearing. <laughs> well, I can't Braveheart. remember, but I don't really like him as an actor. Three. <laughs> I am legend. Braveheart, like, 300. <laughs> I, th I think Beautiful Mind, he was in. Yes, Beautiful oh, yes. Mind. Um, Gladiator. Is Beautiful the only Mind two with I can Angelina think of. Jolie? No. Father. Father to a murdered son. Husband to Beautiful. a murdered wife. Um, so... When we were learning how to do traffic control, yeah. oh, guess yeah. who rocks up? He was in that movie. <laughs> he was in that movie too. Up. I forgot what it's called. I saw that as well. <laughs> Russell Crowe was the guy explaining how to do traffic control. And they Amazing. still have oh, they still have the man, I'm talking about this is nineteen eighties. Like you can tell that like they're not even wearing high like the vest isn't the right vest anymore. The hard hat's not the right hard hat. The lo the lollipop's not the right standard. But they use it Cause just because it, yeah, because it's Russell Crowe. <laughs> That's brilliant. It's, um, but the thing is, no he he sounds like Gladiator on there. He he I goes. Oh, is he in Gladiator? That? Yeah. I watched that like twelve years ago. Yeah, it's he goes like this. All right, sir. So, uh, there's a bit of. Uh, construction work on the left ear if you uh, steer to the right ear and you go straight down go past and continue on your way it's like it's like you can see that he's gonna be uh, an actor yeah. he was bound for something he was more. bound for greatness like 300 <laughs> or uh brave maybe he meant gladiator <laughs> <laughs> i think it was in 007 <laughs> so he did that right yeah. For you guys, by the way, I've just sent you my favorite one of those stock images. Yeah. Um, where they've edited him into Marvel. <laughs> <laughs> Marvel. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to have a look at this now. <laughs> oh, man. Um, so I guess my question to you, if yes. you... For whatever reason, blew up in fame. Yeah. What would be the thing that someone could bring up and remind you about? They'd be like, oh, yeah, I did that, didn't I? Mum away. <laughs> oh, oh, Emma will be oh, mum away, yeah. Mum away. Carrying the babies in the, the sling. <laughs> what was that? Car mum away. She, no, you were doing um the instructional. Instructional videos for how to carry a baby in a sling. In a sling, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, 
Oh God! Oh, I was just thinking of my drunken de- debauchery. N- <laughs> <laughs> what would I be? Oh, I this. What do you mean this? The B-side I, word. I if this is still around, this propelled me into stardom. So this is the reason you became famous. Uh, right. That's the yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. You in, so you it, embrace the mess. Would it be your old YouTube videos then? Yeah. No. Or, or, of, 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 him ska- of him skating and me filming him skating. <laughs> I still don't understand. I still don't understand why he got me out of bed to film him skating, right? Uh. He literally was skating. I've seen the video. <laughs> it's, it's his feet on a skateboard. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. You know what? I was more worried. The reason why I got you there, Siege, is because when I skate away, I don't want someone nicking my camera and going the other way. <laughs> You're minding the oh, camera. <laughs> so, let, let, let's be honest. Well, I, okay, I was holding the camera and probably protecting it for you. But like, if someone's running away, I ain't going to catch him. <laughs> I ain't quick anymore. <laughs> yeah, the whole, point, the, the whole um, point is not to let them get it in the first place. Maybe the food, <laughs> yeah, the food reviews that we used to do. No, they're fantastic. Oh, I know they are. Well, there's nothing. I'm not embarrassed about anything. Oh, does this have to be embarrassing stuff? Yeah, like the stock footage. Okay, okay, okay. The embarrassing one would be for you, Ernie, mm. is when you and a friend of ours jumped in your car, yeah. went to go to the bush and made it halfway because <laughs> the car broke down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you have to have photo evidence of this, is it? Yeah, yeah. Mm. There is photo. I've seen the video, oh. and I laughed my head off when I saw it. Because <laughs> I was like, that shit box was due to break down. <laughs> Alexander, would it be for you the runway where you sported the purse? <laughs> would that be oh. your most in- <laughs> with with Ooh, your shirt please. off? I forgot about that one. <laughs> In my pink, I, I, in my pink I, I, shorts. I need a, I, in your pink shorts. I, 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 I need to see the picture of the runway in the pink shorts. You know, no, he was sporting a, D- a handbag. You know, there's a. D- it's not. No, it was a backpack. But oh. there's a DVD. Oh, yes. A backpack. This is this is me and Max. This is how me and Maxi met. By yeah, the way, I know. I- yeah. <laughs> so there's a DVD of this that I own but have never seen because I don't have anything that plays DVDs. <laughs> <laughs> oh my oh. god so i've never oh. actually seen you have <laughs> you have to send it to us so we can watch it and have a live reaction what do you mean us. go to your parents house i'm pretty sure they got a vcr still no um like, I ha- yeah that'd be funny man I-, I had one more twitter thing i wanted to share because this was from this morning and it just cracked me up this i read mm-hmm. this while while getting the coffee um so this is, I don't know, this can sound weird. This is an obituary that was mm-hmm. written by a bot. What? And oh, yeah. I'll read it out for you. So this is, this is an obituary for Brenda Tent. <laughs> is this real? This is real. So Brenda Tent retired from living at the age of old, surrounded by family and natural causes. A librarian from birth, Brenda was an avid collector of dust. She had a sweetheart and married her high school. She loved having <laughs> hobbies and helped her sons to be disadvantaged youths. She had no <laughs> she had no horses, but thought she did. The church gave her a, the church gave her a choir because she sang like a bird and looked like a bird, and Brenda was a bird. <laughs> she owed us so many poems. The funeral <laughs> The funeral will be held in 1977 at Heaven. In lieu of flowers, <gasps> send Brenda more life. Wait, what? 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 And what? why does she have two <laughs> sets of eyes? I don't understand so was, what a bot obituary is. Why? So it was an obituary written by AI that clearly yeah. is not evolved or was given really bad material to write this obituary from. Right. And it, and it just completely butchered it, but it's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Oh she retired. She retired from living at the age of old. <laughs> she retired. <laughs> Surrounded oh. by family and natural causes. I love it. So yeah, that gave me a good chuckle. That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. But you know, phrases. Certain mm. phrases really, um, really catch my attention. Mm. Like when someone, when like, 
and like if someone has a good idea you go oh where did that great idea come from right but then i heard someone phrase it this way because where did the birth of that idea come from how did that how did you birth that idea and i was like I go, Mind blown. Hmm. I'm just, well, someone, like if it's a man, he's going to poo out an idea or is he like birth, <laughs> he the, he birthed this idea. I thought it was quite, it's quite visual. Yes. That it, is. I, I know, it was, it really captured me when they said that. I was like, yeah. Where I did, know, because when we watch where movies did you birth and someone says some interesting phrase, you, you tend to get your notepad and <laughs> write down it's, the phrase. Because the way, the way that, like, <laughs> the so English remember. language is quite, you you, you can do so much with it. And the way that people phrase certain words together, it's like, I've never heard that before. And I've been yeah. talking this language for years. <laughs> and so for someone to come up with like that way of interpreting um, an idea is like, wow. So one of the bad. ones not that, was pointed, that I saw was pointed out, that this was pointed out in the context of foreigners learning English and then coming across phrases and being like what the fuck are you talking about <laughs> yeah and this one is by the skin of their teeth oh, oh yeah now break that one down into actual words word by word and realize imagine trying to understand that when you've never heard that phrase before yeah. and trying to the even guess of, of what they what they mean by the skin of their teeth by the skin of my teeth is that enamel? What? Like is that teeth, the enamel? Teeth don't have yeah, skin. No. <laughs> I know, but with. you have a layer. Like yeah. if you don't brush your teeth, yeah. you have a layer. It's nothing. It's, it's not a, a literal thing. It's not literal. <laughs> no, we're making it literal. Oh. But that's the point. Like if you're a foreigner, you met- metaphors in other languages don't make sense. No. No, no. not at no. all. Just like a cut off your nose to spite your face. Like... Well, that makes sense. Yeah, they're that makes all, sense. They're all that makes sense strange. though. That makes sense, Emma. Yeah, because you can. Okay, that's true. <laughs> um, I know that was a very bad one. What's Brave the, what's heart. The one, one example. Brave heart. You, out of out of all of them, <laughs> the one example that is actually correct is the one you gave. Let me think of another one. <laughs> <laughs> Um, by hook or by crook? What does that yeah, mean? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, by like hook what, or by crook. I, I, if you if what you think that about that it's literally, like, I don't know how that helps you figure it out. No, it doesn't. It's like by hook or by crook, I shall. Like you're <laughs> going to get it done no matter what. Is, I get shall. The job done. <laughs> um, I shall. Is there anything else, guys? Um... I just wanted to show this to you just because it's, it's a bit of a throwback to our conversation about sports. Kind of a mix when we talked about like I'm not looking. A- Olympic sports and we said which ones could make good viewership. And I saw this and this, like if this was an Olympic sport, I would watch this very regularly. If this was just a sport on TV, like I would tune in to watch. Because one, I don't think it wouldn't take that much time out of your life. But two, it's just quite interesting. Okay. Oh, it's just an ad- adaptation. Yeah. So it's it's tug of war, but in a boat. That's insane. I love like, it. Oh, why don't they do the, it? Okay. Is that not the exact same thing as rowing already? In terms of rowing, is who rows the most powerfully? But this is a way more entertaining way of doing it. Mm. That's so cool. Where is this? France, I think this is in France. Oh, I don't know the the tweet the tweet tweeter. His name is French, but I don't know where this is. <laughs> it's a stalemate. Uh, you know how they came up. They're with breaking this? him. They're breaking them. So when they when they did training, oh, he's so furious. Do you know how like when you just do training in normal, you know, normal training for any sport, and then at the end of your training session, you sort of have a game, and it's like the fun part. 
Yeah. So this is how they did training, and then at the end they would have the the fun part, and then it became a um, actual sport. I think. <laughs> what? That's what I reckon. Wasn't that basketball? <laughs> Wasn't basketball created because the football players they wanted to keep them agile during the off season? What? No, tell me some more, Siege. You can't what? leave me hanging like that. Okay, you can't. Wasn't basketball? Wasn't a basketball created by like a, a football coach who wanted to get his players more agile no. during the offseason? No. Where did you get this from? <laughs> My brain. <laughs> Look it up. <laughs> how was but how was basketball created? It was created, wasn't it? In a, it was in a YMCA by um, yeah. what's his name, but they couldn't. A fo- they couldn't. A football. Well, he was. Was the reason why he created it. Was it because he had a... Fo- he's he a sticking to that coach. narrative, isn't he? He's, he's going to die on that yeah. hill. He loves it. Oh, mate. Ch- oh, look there it up you go. He's going to die on that hill. Tell me I'm right. Metaphor. Not understandable. Yeah. Great one. going to die on that hill. Yeah. Look it up, you and then you can tell me I'm right. Yeah, but they don't know the meaning behind it. They're like, he's going to die on the hill? What will happen? I think that, <laughs> I think that is quite an important word of that phrase. He's going to die on that what? hill. Oh, that hill. Because if you say he's going to die on the hill, like that definitely changes the entire this meaning is true. of that. That. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm looking up the reason why. Yes, Buster please is. do. <laughs> please do. Because your brain has uh, failed you again. Well, has it? Or maybe not. Uh... What else happened this week? Bumbly flies and how I, they're now coming in season now that it's spring and no, so that people would, no, that's not a thing. <laughs> this is not a thing. You could work out with like maggots coming at you. This is not a thing. Okay. So I saw this. I haven't seen anyone talking about it yet, but I feel like I this is I going to become that. a conversation. Um, oh, okay. I say I that this tweet has thirty thousand retweets, but I've not seen anyone outside of this tweet talking about it. Now, I've not read right. into this in any way. I've literally just read the tweet and thought, this might be interesting. Mm. Dude, I'm actually quite close. <laughs> what was the outcome, CJ? Um, Nace, James Naismith was, a list, was um, credit for list injuries. Just reading it now. Early history... You just said you were so close, and then you don't even know what you read. But I, I might have got the football thing wrong. <laughs> but it was actually that was your entire game. premise. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, maybe I didn't. <laughs> I know I, I can't remember where I heard it. All right. Don't say anything. Alexander is talking about a new topic until you actually know the answer. Go, Alexander. So I'm just going to read the tweet because, again, this is all the information I have, but I feel like it's enough of a talking point. So it says, Usher Priyanka Chopra Jonas, which, by the way, is she married a Jonas brother? She did. I did not yes. know that. Um, that was a few and ago. Who is this girl? She's a... She's not from... Oh, yeah. Anyways, don't worry. And yeah, Julian, how, who, Hugh? I have no idea who that is. Um, it's Plow, they're, Plow, How. They're they're going to host a competition series called The Activist, in which activists go head to head in challenges to promote their causes with their success measured via online engagement, social metrics, and hosts' input. So it's kind of activist porn. <laughs> this is with why. their success measured promote their causes with their success measured by their online. This doesn't sound like a good social thing. Social metrics and hosts input. But like they're uh, literally what's monetizing. The, what's the outcome? Activism. What do they get from this? They get exposure. The activist gets exposure. So it says the activist spotlights individuals who've made it in their life's work made it their life's work to change the world for the better as well as incredible and often challenging work they do on the ground in the communities 
This is not a reality show to trivialize activism. On the contrary, our aim is to support activists everywhere, show the ingenuity and dedication they put into their work and amplify their cause to an even wider audience. While I'm assuming making money because it's a TV show. Um, Yeah. It's a competition series that features six inspiring activist teams with their three high-profile public figures working together to bring a meaningful change to one of three vitally important world causes, health, education, and environment. They go head-to-head in challenges to promote their causes with their success measured via online engagement, social metrics, and host input. The three teams have one ultimate goal to create impactful movements that amplify their message, drive action, and advance them to the G20 Summit in Rome, Italy. There, they will meet with world leaders in the hope of securing funding and awareness for their causes. The team that receives the largest commitment is celebrated as the overall winner at the finale, which will also feature musical performances by some of the world's most passionate artists. This is weird. This is super weird. Yeah, it is. It's a weird competition. I don't mind it. It's a weird competition. But why why is is it a competition, not just like a documentary? Yeah, I, I don't mind it. I think it will create awareness, and whether they this TV show, you know, makes money off of it. They're, it's a cause that they're passionate about. So they're not saying, it's not like a like a charity, like it might be a cause for environmental, like I'm just going off the, sub, the topics that he said, environment and what else? Education. Education. So they're like, we're passionate about something. We're trying to get our message out. This will help boost them to get their message out. That's the end goal for them, right? Mm. So I don't mind it. Do you think it'll bring people together or divide people? Who will it divide? Because you're going on social media to pick a cause. People pick a cause anyway. I know, but, but you like might... because it's a competition. Um, because like you're, let's you... say you're being actor, you're an activist, right? You're not going up directly against another activist. You're mm. just being an activist to promote goodwill. Mm-hmm. But when you create a competition. There's other elements that come in to that. It's not about goodwill anymore. There's other elements. You're like, you know, you, you, it's a competition. At the beginning of a game, you go, like, you shake hands and stuff. But really, you're like, I'm going to beat you. You know what I mean? Like, there's these dynamics that enter when you, it's a competition. Mm-hmm. It's just not all, like, high fives and hugs and stuff. Mm. So if they one, w- one... They want to be the team to win. Yeah. Yes. And doesn't that move away from it, it it is a bit strange but i still don't mind it i think it's actually pretty good if they're if those particular people all of them because they're all of them going to get the same tv um coverage right so they're all of their movements are going to get shown and can given I, the opportunity to how, grow can i how throw if the some logistics um, into this quickly clash clash yeah so part of the legit, because this is what I was curious about, because the way you're talking about it, Emma is, I don't think how this is going to work in the sense of this is going to, they're going to start airing this on October 22nd. And there's going to be five, five weeks of this. Okay. The G20 summit that they're competing to win money in happens on the 30th of October, which is only a week later. Which means by the time you watch all of this, it's already happened. So you can't, as an audience viewer, you're not impacting their ability to do anything because it's already happened. Okay. Does that not yeah. change? I mean, any- Does I, that change anything? Oh no, because I wasn't personally <clears throat> talking about it, um, changing their influence. Like, if. I'm sure so if as part of the competition and they're trying to get their word out and their social media, people, real people will see it, right? Like as it's happening before they know that it's a competition. Is that right? Or yeah. No? Yeah. Yeah. So, so then the show element of it, the TV show competition element of it, how does that benefit that? Yeah, I don't know. Bit tricky. The only way it will benefit it is if they're blind, able to blind reach more people throughout the process than they would have before even though it hasn't been aired yet but who knows if that if oh you mean the celebrity judges no like let's say we will give you a set amount like do they give them any money or something to help promote or no it doesn't say anything about that or like they might have access to certain people what are people saying networks what are people saying on this I don't know, but I'm actually, I, I actually wouldn't mind. 
I don't. I don't know. Actually, it's a bit strange. Is there any comments or what? But I don't mind yeah, it, but it is a bit strange. I'd be interested to see comments. how it actually comes out. I don't mm. think people are in um like like this idea. I think <laughs> I'm not sure with Twitter. I'm uh, still lost. Uh, no one seems to know what's going on with that. Okay, what is this guy doing? <laughs> I what don't is know. Uh, what's this? So this really is just going to be this year's cats, isn't it? What? The guy touching her ass is gonna be this year's cats. I don't know what I don't know. I can I don't know how to use Twitter. I'm going into threads that I'm not supposed to be going into. So a, a, <laughs> I don't way to get, a good way to get an idea of the response is if you click on quote tweets. Quote this is 20, tweets? 20, yeah. Because this is yep. people who have one. quoted it. Oh, you're talking And you can yeah. see what they're saying about it. All right. So this is saying... Well, read this, Ems. I can't read that. The, mar- the market will take everything you care about and sell it back to you as a vile perversion if this were in a dystopian novel it would be too on the nose what does that mean someone decipher that Doesn't they're saying good. yeah they're saying that basically capitalism just sells anything back we'll, we'll find a way to sell anything um, yes if this right. was i didn't even think about the capitalism i was just thinking about the competition part i don't think I don't think activism and competition are things that you put together. That's my. It's kind of like the the Apprentice, but but with activists. No, no, it's but bizarre. like the Apprentice is people that believe in capitalism to go into there. Yeah. But the activism is not. They're no, not, I know. They're trying to step away, like they're trying to get money, but not be in the spotlight to go up against someone. It's like they have their own path. Now their paths are crossing to like engage with each other in a way that like, so, so if you're seen in a certain way in your lane, right, you're being a certain way, trying to do good in the world. If you put, if you, competition brings the worst out of people. They, ex, it, they don't bring the definitely. worst. I mean, they expose people. It I'm depends intrigued. how they go about doing it. So if they don't even meet the other, like, let's say, um, for example, that, dinner table million pound table whatever in um it's an english one where you have your it's like your own a restaurant a small restaurant (gasps) and you cook your food for the judges and there's three teams and whoever the judges like best whichever food they like best they get a chance to then set up their own restaurant Do you remember we watched it right so if they run it like that they're not really you're not really interfering with each, each other's dish, um, dishes or each other's livelihood. So in this case, if they say, this is your uh, campaign, that's your campaign, that's your campaign, go and do your thing. So they're not really sort of crossing heads or anything like Survivor or like the Amazing Race, you know, whatever, those types of things. They're not sabotaging each other in any way. They're just literally focusing on their own thing. And then at the end of it, they say, okay, well, you got this many, you got this many, you got this many. It's not as bad as if they sort of pit them together yeah, in challenges each week the, head to head. In that restaurant one, there's there's something at the end of it to help them better what they do. But this one is just to see who can get the most money, which they're going to do regardless of the TV show. And they're not competing. Oh, I they're just that doing they it get because to they care the, about the cause. I thought the prize was they get to go to the G20 and help Fight no, that that's more in front that's of the competition. Political... The competition is to see who gets the most money at G20. Oh, sorry, I thought that's that was why, the outcome. The no, winner so gets to go I, there to help. That's why fight I was saying. Cause. That's why I was saying this is weird because that happens one week into the show in reality, but you're not going to see it for five weeks. So I don't understand yeah, how the TV weird. show in any way help. Like, okay, now I, I, sort what I was thinking this sort of leads onto it is. Take it from the activist standpoint, like what you were saying, Dev, in terms of the type of people who are doing this. What activist... Like, imagine you're an activist. You're really passionate about education, say, and you're really trying to do things for education. And then a TV producer comes up to you and says, look, we really want you to be on our TV show about your activism, and Usher is going to be your mentor. Like, would you not just be like, why? What, what the... What... No, Wait, I'm all are right, these thanks. their mentors? Okay, <laughs> the mentors. Okay, if, if it was Ernest, 
As soon as he hears the word Usher's going to be your mentor, yeah. he's like, I'm in. Yeah. Well, what, are you, what are you activating for? Is that a word? Are you activating? <laughs> 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 what are you doing? What are you what, Maybe What's, a, they're what's meant- a verb for activist? No, you've got to come up with a word. What's the word for activist? Activizing. Petition. <laughs> <laughs> What is Activists, it, Alexander? They do different petitioning. They do different things, don't they? Ah, uh, but there's no verb for active. Like activist, if you're a, if there? you're an athlete, you don't athleting. You <laughs> you know you play yeah. something or you run. Yeah. Or like no, you no, 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 no. I think you activate. I must activate. <laughs> I must activate and do something. <laughs> I'm activating. <laughs> Continue. Ah. Uh... Maybe they're mentoring not on the actual topic itself, but on promoting like on social media and stuff like that. I don't know. Who knows? I'm actually intrigued. I'm. I actually it was miscommun. I misunderstood what you said. I thought the the actual prize was the winner gets to go to the G20 summit and then help or talk in front of the political powerheads to to fight for their cause. So I misunderstood. No. That. So I I read this part, but I'll read it again to. Now you now you get the idea. So it says that, that they'll go to the G20 summit in Rome, Italy. There they will meet world leaders in hope of securing funding and awareness of their causes. The team that receives the largest commitment is celebrated as the overall winner at the finale, which will also feature musical performances by some of the world's most passionate artists. Mm. Like yeah, that's, that's different sort then. of the end. <laughs> it's a bit of... bizarre. Yeah, it's weird. I'm intrigued to see how it actually is going to, what it's going to look like. It's been cringeworthy it some strange. of the... Um, remember when um, Wonder Woman got her friends together to sing? Do you remember that? Yeah. And it was like, and it was like stop. <laughs> stop playing. Just because you're famous doesn't... Like, stop. <laughs> stop singing. I didn't see that. No. She was doing a good thing singing. <laughs> you, don't, you don't... You don't tell Wonder Woman hey, what to do. you're not going to get away with this, CJ. What? Did basketball get invented because <laughs> okay <laughs> it, it was to keep the athletes active during the winter months from soccer all right that's why it was invented to keep athletes they didn't mention football players <laughs> but it was to keep people athletes act um, what kind of athletes active during the what were the athleting uh, well he took it from a range of sports yeah. such as Not like yeah just yeah just, I, just to I just want to mention as well, CJ, with your yeah. original theory of foot, specifically football players in that off season, football and basketball <laughs> have the same season. No, no, but it was when they want something indoors, so they can keep them active during the winter months. They still yeah, have the same maybe, season. Maybe no, I reckon what CJ saying is That's true, but I reckon it was after basketball was created and a specific football coach made his players play basketball for that reason but no, i don't but, think that's probably what no but, invented no, but for winter they play in winter the same season no but he's no, 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 during, the off, during season, the off season of football when it was winter it's better it's weather summer. so <laughs> they can just play football wasn't it would make sense if football was a summer sport <laughs> and yeah, then you're like we have... need to do we need to go indoors <laughs> in the off season yeah. but yeah. they play outdoors but... during the winter <laughs> Maybe they used to play in the summer. <laughs> <laughs> it was to keep, from what I just read, it was to keep athletes uh, um, um, active during the winter months, okay? That is another episode of the B-Side. We're done for another week. I hope you enjoy. I hope you have a great week. We are the B-Side Word, and peace out. Peace. Bruce. See Emma. Say bye-bye. Bye. How rude. Can I stop recording? I thought we weren't doing outtakes. Do you say bye-bye when someone leaves your house? Yeah. Yes. Say bye-bye. I I don't say bye-bye. I say bye. Uh...